Hello, welcome to video session about preparing earthwork calculation using earthwork module of eSurvey CAD. Calculating earthwork quantities for site surveys, which is also referred as grading, can be achieved using this module. Earthwork quantity for roads and canals can be estimated with section module. Earthwork calculation can be computed either using CSV file or CAD data. In this video, we will compute earthwork quantity from a CAD drawing. Computing quantities from CSV file is also similar. In this sample drawing, there are two sets of data. Elevations, which are represented by green colored text, represent ground elevation. And one in orange represents formation level. Earthwork calculation can be done in eSurvey CAD software interface. We have data in CAD drawing. So first, we need to export these data to eSurvey CAD module. Select Export Ground option in Earthwork item of eSurvey CAD menu and select all the elevations which represents ground elevations. Similarly, we will export formation levels. You may please note that exported data will be saved as a CSV file and will be stored in temporary directory C colon eSurvey temp as ground.csv and formation.csv. We will export the boundary also by selecting a closed polygon representing the boundary. Now three sets of data is exported. We will create a new file in eSurvey CAD by selecting topo contour earthwork option with name demo earthwork. We will import ground data by selecting import data under surface menu by locating ground levels from ground.csv stored in C colon eSurvey temp directory. In the next step, we will import boundary data by selecting import boundary option under surface menu. After these imports, if we select earthwork menu item from earthwork menu, we can view imported data. We can see ground levels and boundary by clicking on view button. Earthwork calculations are done by converting input data into grid levels. So first, we need to specify the grid interval by selecting grid tab. When a new file is created as a default, grid interval will be 10 meters. We will set it to 5 meters for calculating earthwork. In display tab, we can control which levels we want to see in the drawing. Let us select grid elevation of ground and formation levels. For computing earthwork, two sets of data is required, base surface levels and the comparative levels. We have ground levels as initial levels. If we look at base surface statistics, we will come to know that in this surface model, minimum level is 17.10 and maximum is 29.959. We can give single level as the formation level, that is, a plane with the given formation level is created as a surface. In computation tab, we will specify 25 as formation level. Now, if we click on volume button, Software will compute cutting and filling quantities and show the result instantly. Volume calculation result is summary of computation. To understand the detailed calculations, let us click on view cross section button. In calculation and drawing window, we can have a look at each cross section that is derived from grid. Note that software has calculated area for each of the cross section. If we select volume tab, we will come to know that volume calculation is done considering the area values derived from area calculation of each cross section. By clicking on report button, we can generate the volume report in Excel. When submitting earthwork calculation report to client, not only a volume calculation Excel sheet is required, but also we need to generate all respective area calculation and cross section drawings. Earthwork module allows you to generate all required drawing and calculation sheet with single command. Select Drawings and Reports from Earthwork menu. In Drawings and Reports window, we can select required outputs like Drawings, Plan, Area Report and Volume Report. We can select all drawings in single file option and select single row. We need to specify a folder name. Let us say Demo. When we click on Generate button, 
software will generate all the drawings and reports. We have computed earthwork calculation with single formation level 25. Initially, we exported formation levels also. If we have to compute earthwork using exported formation levels, then we need to import it via import formation item available under earthwork menu. After importing formation levels, you may note that option to specify formation level is disabled in earthwork window. Calculation and output generation methods remain same when we have import formation levels. Till now, we have computed earthwork using a method called section method. In this method, software converts elevation data into grid levels and then it creates cross section for each row of grid data and then finally computes the volume using trapezoidal method. In this earthwork module, calculations can also be done with another method called block method or division of square method. Calculation of earthwork by taking averages of ground levels and formation levels is the shortest method to compute the volume. However, that method gives inaccurate results. However, if the whole area is divided into smaller blocks and then if we compute volumes by taking average, it will give better results. Click on block button and select average item under ground and formation and let us select area, block boundary, block number and block volume. When we click on view, we can note that for each box, volume calculation is done separately. These boxes are formed depending upon the grid interval we have specified, that is 5 meter in the demonstration. Software is finding the average of base surface levels and comparative surface levels and it is multiplying the difference in the averages with area of that particular block to derive the volume of that particular block. By clicking on report button, an excel sheet with details of computation will get generated which will have block number, all the initial levels, average, final levels and their average area of that particular block and finally volume of that block either in cutting or filling is displayed. Thank you for watching this video. We have understood how to do earthwork calculation with two different methods that is section method and block method both for single formation level and with two surfaces. Please visit www.esurveying.net to know more about eSurveyCAD.